Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Dog. こんにちは。今日はクレープを作ります。クリスマスの飾りをつけると子供たち喜びますよ。Let's make the batter for the crepes. Sieve the cake flour into a bowl. Add the sugar and mix with a balloon whisk. Pour the beaten egg into the center of the flour while mixing. Gradually mix in the flour from the center to the outside. This will help avoid pockets of dry flour. Add the melted unsalted butter to the egg mixture while mixing. Use a microwave oven or a bain marie to melt the butter. When the butter is completely combined, Gradually add the milk. Adding the ingredients in this order will help the batter mix evenly and keep the batter from separating even though it is stored in a refrigerator. Strain the batter into a bowl with a mesh strainer. Make sure to allow the eggs and milk to reach room temperature before using. Otherwise, the batter will become solid and not combine well with the other ingredients. Cover with a plastic wrap. 室温で30分休ませます。Allowing the batter to rest will make it smooth and spread more evenly onto the pan. Using a pair of tongs and a paper towel, thinly coat a heated pan with vegetable oil. Place the pan onto a dampened kitchen towel so that it will cool a bit evenly. If the pan is too hot, the batter will not spread, making the crepe too thick. Ladle the batter onto the pan and quickly swirl to coat the bottom of the pan. Make a beautiful round shape cooking over medium low heat. When the surface begins to puff up in places and the edges begin to brown, flip the crepe over by lifting the rim with a kitchen chopstick. Be careful not to burn yourself. Cook the other side for about 10 seconds. Remove and place onto a cooling rack. Cool the pan with a dampened towel again. Ladle the batter and repeat the process to make a stack of crepes on the cooling rack. Let's make the strawberry crepe. Squeeze out the whipped cream onto the crepe, making a V shape. Place the crepe on a flat plate with the brown side facing down. Cut the strawberry into thirds, keeping two outer slices for the topping. Slice the rest of the strawberries into thin slices lengthwise. In the V section, place the slices in a tall stack. Drizzle on the blueberry jam. Sprinkle on the diced roasted almonds. Fold the bottom third of the crepe horizontally. And then fold one side along the V shape. Lift the plate so as not to ruin the shape and roll the crepe downward, making a cone. Wrap the crepe with wax paper or any clean wrapper for food. Place it in a stand. Next, let's make the banana crepe. Place the crepe onto the plate with the brown side facing down. Squeeze out the custard and whipped cream, making a V shape. Slice the banana into thin slices using diagonal cuts. Cut one of the slices in half lengthwise for the topping. In the V section, place the banana slices in a tall stack. Drizzle on the chocolate sauce. 
sprinkle on the diced roasted almonds. Fold the bottom third of the crepe horizontally and fold one side along the V shape. Lift the plate and roll the crepe, making a cone. Wrap the crepe with a clean wrapper for food. Place it in a stand. Let's place the ice cream into the crepes and decorate them with the toppings. Place a scoop of the vanilla ice cream into the strawberry crepe. And garnish with the strawberry slices. Spoon the blueberry jam onto the ice cream. Sprinkle on the roasted almonds. Garnish with Christmas ornaments. Next, put a scoop of the rum raisin ice cream into the banana crepe. Garnish with the banana slices. Drizzle the chocolate sauce onto the ice cream. Sprinkle on the roasted almonds. Garnish with Christmas ornaments. It will be difficult to wrap the small crepes made with a frying pan. So reviewing the tips in the video will help you to perfect these Japanese style crepes. None of the fillings we used are essential. So choose your favorite fillings and enjoy your original crepes. Good luck in the kitchen!